Hi everyone, so second video review for this week is for A Country Girl's Heart by Dina Blake which was my paperback read last week. Um, for any of you that didn't see the introduction video, this is what the book looks like. Uh, if you want to check out the introduction video, it is hanging around on my Facebook page or if you're on YouTube, it's on there too. Um, and if you'd like to check out my Goodreads review, if you're on YouTube, there is a link in the description below. Or if you're on Facebook, it is below all of today's posted videos. Um, and this is a video review. So, A Country Girl's Heart by Dina Blake. I loved it. Like, wow. 100% completely in love with it. Read the first chapter. Knew I was going to struggle to put this book down. When I bought it back in May at the Bold Street Book event um, in Nottingham, uh, what it appealed with it to me was the cover. Um, so, anyone who knows a couple of weeks ago that I read a book um, by Robin Nix, which was about country music and stuff, Con co the country, like the American South and country, just, I love it. It's like it's embedded in my heart and I can't get it out. So if I see something like that, um, I'm sort of automatically drawn to it. So for me, with Dina's book, I was drawn to the cover, the fact that it said a country girl's heart, the fact it had a horse. It's just, oh, it's just perfect, perfect for me. And I knew I was going to love this book, but I did not expect to fall 100% in love with it. And I did. It was just an amazing book. Um, it was so much more than I expected it to be as well. Um, I don't know what I don't quite know what I expected from the title, but I expected sort of a just just a, a romance of two girls living in the south, um, and I got so much more than I bargained for. It was amazing. Um, so the two characters, Cat and DJ, I mean they're just so likable. You can't not like them. They're just brilliant, both of them. Um, and for me, just. Dina had created the most heartfelt romance and she really did it well but piled loads of drama on because that's what we like we love drama so she got you hooked she got you hooked on those first chapters because I thought wow they're falling in love real quick how's this gonna work and then you know there was a few there was a few things in there from the start you're like yeah we see when Kat finds out who DJ is she's not gonna be happy bunny but they're gonna work through it I was confident of that I was really confident of that um, but I thought, this is all going so well, so fast, um, oh dear, you know, what's going to happen now? Something's got to happen. And then, bam! Oh, Dina hit us with all the scandal and all the secrets. Uh, you know, families are great, isn't they, you know? Um, and DJ, basically, she'd been on a bit of a mission um, out to Kat's ranch. And Kat's had a really hard time. She's been through some really tragic events, um, complete heartache. And she's got this ranch that she's 100% in love with. She doesn't speak to her parents um, or the rest of her family, to be honest. And she meets DJ and she's a bit closed off at first. She's very wary of her, but DJ persists in pursuing her. And they've got this instant connection and it's so good. Like, you will be invested in Kat and DJ so badly. Um, and she gets a lot more than she bargains for DJ because she obviously she's got there she's thinking I'm just going to do this job and then I'm going to be out of there and she actually finds herself overwhelmed with emotion you know for feelings that she has for Kat which really complicates and compromises her position and she has this really tough decision to make about whether she tells the truth whether she doesn't tell the truth but as with anything nothing goes to plan and then I say all this scandal delicious secrets pouring out of every page and I was just oh gripped could not put this book down I literally got to a point the other night where I was reading I was reading I was reading I was reading and I was like if you don't put a reading update up soon you're going to be finished the book and everyone's going to wonder how you went from like being chapter nine to finished it was so good just genuinely couldn't put it down and all those plot twists just as a reader just oh, it was like music off the pages it's so good um so I literally, like I say, I couldn't put it down. I can't give it enough praise. I absolutely adored it. This is the first thing I've ever read by Dina Blake. I am now an invested fan. I will be buying loads of Dina's stuff. I think they are great. Um, this is definitely one of my favourite books. It's so good. I really love it. I can't wait to read it again soon, hopefully. Um, and I would just recommend it to anyone who loves a fantastically clever and intriguing and exciting romance. Because this has it all. This is the ultimate it's so good um and then you know it has the country it has the country that we love you know the southern drawl and the horses and the ranch and 
everything country that you could possibly need for your little country heart and I was just like oh this is so perfect and I loved it I genuinely genuinely loved it um so I'll pop a link in the description for you to go and grab a copy of Dina's book um a country girl's heart you know you want a copy you definitely want to grab a copy definitely a paperback copy as well because there's nothing like reading an actual book it's so good um and oh I've just got all the feels like totally love this book um so if you've read a country girl's heart by dina blake please let me know what you thought of it did you fall in love with it as much as i did because it'd be really great to find someone else who really wants to fangirl over it as much as i do um and if it's on your to read list or you are planning to read it or would like to read it again please let me know and if you do read it oh my god i hope you fall in love with it and oh my god i hope you enjoy it as much as i did because it was fantastic and um, yeah wow see i told you cannot praise it enough love this book go check it out bye